Welcome to the Sunday afternoon, uh, Saturday afternoon program of finals here at Wollinga at Joanda Plains for 2023. A big thank you once again to Collier's Agribusiness, the naming rights sponsors of our maiden draft. A big congratulations to all our maiden champions and place getters. We're not too far off getting underway with our maiden for maiden final. Of course, we had the Calcutta last night where some $18,000 or more, a little bit over $18,000, I should say, was raised. Over $9,000 to the winner of the Calcutta, well over five to second place, and well over three to third. Let's go through the draw for our maiden for maiden finalists. Number one out will be William Chug riding Bailey's Hooligan. Number two will be Mac Whelan riding Lexi. Byron Davison will ride Barragoon Truce in number three. Emma Knight, you'll ride Calamity in four. Number five will be Jody Cowley riding Metal Storm. And number six will be Sally Gavin riding Neverina Rita Ora. Charles Tapp, you'll be number seven riding two up. <coughs> Ali Graham will be in eight riding Flash Mellow. Harry Scott will ride Roxy in number nine. Byron Davidson, we're going to see you again on another Barragoon entrance. Entrant in Barragoon Puzzle. Number 11 will be William Chug again, riding Dali, Missy Time. Number 12 out in the Maiden for Maiden final, ladies and gentlemen, will be Sam Harbison, riding Wallinga Park Zorro. Jai Johnson will ride Lily in 13. Imogen Dello will ride Short Lean Cat in 14. Byron Davidson, once again on his third entry into the final, will ride Barragoon Hussey in 15. Kyle Sanguinetti, you'll ride Sprinkle in 16. Summer Barnett, you'll ride Hard One to Please in number 17. 18 out will be Alexandra Hindle riding Kitty Long Stockings. Number 19 will be Byron Davidson again on another Barragoon entrant of Barragoon Ida. Number 20 will be Philippe Manchin riding Del Rio Chisholm. Number 21 will be Charles Tapp again riding Notorious. Number 22 will be Anton Smith riding Wild Cow Guitar Man. Number 23 will be Harry Scott riding Rocket. And our last entrant out here in the Maiden for Maiden final will be Imogen Dello riding Summer Love. A clean slate final, ladies and gentlemen, once again under the watchful eye. Under the watchful eye of Mr. Zane Haberman and Mr. Tim Hollis. Hey, welcome, gentlemen. Zane Haberman calls mostly hills in the Springshaw District home, and Tim Wallace, Tim Hollis, joins us from Currabubula in New South Wales. Of course, I was telling Tim all about auctioneering last night until I found out he's one of the leading auctioneers of the district down there in the Tamworth District. So, Tim Hollis, I will absolutely take an opportunity to play a trick on you again one day, sometime, somewhere, somehow, for some reason. Had a wonderful time having a yarn with some exceptional camp draft personalities last night here at Joanda Plains. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing place to be and an amazing time to be a part of the horse industry. A big thank you to the Snow family and all their crew. A big thank you to Wollinga Pastoral. A big thank you to Andrew and Courtney Turvey for all their work. And a big thank you to our Maiden for Maiden finalists as we watch Number one in the cutout yard, it's William Chuck, ladies and gentlemen, riding uh, Bailey's Hooligan. He was bought by ECM Livestock last night in the Calcutta for $1,700. $1,700 in the Calcutta, ladies and gentlemen, to get us underway. And Michael Chug makes his way out onto the course now. Of course, he's got the Wollinga Pastoral uniform on. And joins us in the final at number one in the draw. William Chug on his first of two entries, riding Bailey's Hooligan. Our judges say they've seen enough. Thank you very much. William Chug and Bailey's Hooligan will have a score to hand for you in just a moment. Do you reckon there's a dual cord to get the fur back riders, 
He scored a hand for William Chug, 22 for cutout, 57.5 for horsework and three for the course for a final and clean slate total of 82.5, 22, 57 and a half and three for an 82.5. I'm going to, just going to make a call out to some arena cleaners. If there's some people on the grounds horseback, we'd love to have you in the arena to take our spent cattle away. As we go to number two in the draw, Mac Wheel and riding Lexi. Mac was bought by his mother last night in the Calcutta for one thousand five hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars is Mac Wheel and riding Lexi. Here in our clean slate, maiden for maiden. A big thank you once again to Philip Collier and all the crew for their work here and their presence here in the maiden competition for Wollinga at Duanda Plains 2023, the inaugural year, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, a big welcome to all our fans and friends out there in the live stream world. Our pleasure to have you along here at Duanda Plains for this amazingly wonderful event that we're all a part of as we watch Mac Whelan outside riding Lexi. Got plenty of work to do on the long side of the second. Under the watchful eye, of course, of Tim Hollis and Zane Haberman. Our judges say thank you very much, Mac. We're going to go to the scoreboard and find a cutout score there for Mac Whelan. 15, 15 for cutout. They're going to leave the working area with a cutout score only. The young man you're about to watch in number three, ladies and gentlemen, has four homebred entrants. Four homebred entrants here in the Maiden for Maiden final. Byron Davison is the young man he calls Pittsworth, the Darling Downs home. He joins us at number three in the draw, riding Berragoon Truce. He was bought by Ben Knight last night for $1,500, and we're watching him outside now on the course. He's got four out of 24 entrants. We'll have a score to hand for you in just a moment. Byron Davison, you've still got three runs left at 21. 21 for cutout. Leading the competition thus far here in the Maiden for Maiden final is William Chug riding Bailey's Hooligan with an 82.5. Next up, we'll go to number uh, cutout score there for Byron, 21. 21 for cutout. If we have some people horseback on the grounds, if they could please clear the arena for us, we'd be thoroughly appreciative of that. Maybe some open finalists that are looking to leg their horse up or warm up. If we could have some other people, even if they wanted to go and saddle up quickly and clear the arena for us, that would be thoroughly appreciated. Emma Knight, ladies and gentlemen, in four, riding Calamity. Emma will be followed by Jody Cowley and Metal Storm in five. Number six will be Sally Gavin, riding Nibirina Rita Aura. Charles Tapp, you'll be in seven, riding two up. Currently watching Emma Knight and Calamity. Making their way out through the face of the cutout yard. They were bought by Lloyd Davidson last night for $1,050 in our Calcutta. Don't forget, well over nine and uh, well over nine thousand to the winner of the Calcutta. Up for grabs here this afternoon. All you successful Calcutta purchasers, don't be afraid to make a little bit of noise and show some support for your entrant. For your entered rider in this competition, Lloyd Davidson bought Emma Knight last night for $1,050. Unfortunately, there for Emma, she's going to leave with a cutout score and a cutout score only. As that score comes to hand, a 19, 19 in the yard, a 19 for cutout for Emma Knight and Calamity. As we go down to number five here in the Maiden for Maiden final in a fast game, a good game. Jody Cowley riding Metal Storm. Hey, where would you rather be? Arguably, one of the biggest maiden camp drafting events of all time. $50,000 maiden, and what a wonderful, wonderful incentive this maiden for maiden has been. It's an absolute credit to Alinga Pastoral to see how many of their staff have made the final here in the maiden for maiden this year in its inaugural conception here at Joanna Plains. Where else would you rather be on what's turning out to be a magnificent Saturday afternoon here in the Wandowan district? Emma Cowley, we watch, riding Metal Storm. Proudly bought by Shepherdson and Boyd, a big thank you to Dickie Boyd and Vince O'Brien from Shepherdson and Boyd down in Tagulawar, a big thank you to Shepherdson and Boyd. 
for purchasing this young lady for 300. I tell you what, imagine if you won over 9,000, well over 9,000 for a $300 investment. Well, for those of you that know the Dickie Boyd and Vince O'Brien, they're money makers, so they're a red hot chance of doing it. On the back of the lovely young lady out there right now and Jody Cowley riding Metal Storm. Jody Cowley and Metal Storm waiting, waiting, punch up. Oh, they're going to push this lovely red and white bullock back through the gate. They've got plenty of work to do. Our judges say thank you very much, young lady. We'll go to the scoreboard and get you a score in just a moment. Number six will see Sally Gavin riding Nibirina Rita Ora. There's a score for Jody Cowley, 15 for cutout, 59 for horsework, and four for the course for a short round total of 78. That's a 15, 59, and four for 78 points here in our final. As we move on now, now to number six in the draw, Sally Gavin riding Nibirina Rita Ora. She'll be followed by Charles Tapp on two up in number seven. Ali Graham will ride Mr. Mello in number eight. Harry Scott's Roxy in number nine. Number 10 will be Byron Davidson riding Barragoon Puzzle. Number 11 will be William Chug on his second entry. Dali Missy Time. Cast your eye down to the cutout yard, ladies and gentlemen. Number six out of 24 here in our final is Sally Gavin riding Nibirina Rita Ora. Sally and Nibirina Rita Ora. Proudly bought by Wollinga Pastoral Company last night for $800 in the Calcutta. They join us at number six in the draw. Moves a lovely Hereford steer. Hey, haven't these beautiful heralds? Hereford steers got some depth of girth to them, hey? It's all about volume. Got some punch in them. Not a whole lot of luck, unfortunately, there for Sally Gavin here in the cutout yard, here in our maiden for maiden, maiden for maiden, maiden final. And Sally will leave the working area with a no score. Next up, we'll have number seven, Charles Tapp, riding two up. Of course, a vital part of the operations here at Joanda Plain is the young man we're watching. Charles Tapp was bought by Collier's Agribusiness last night in the Calcutta. Charles has two entrants here in the final this afternoon and was our high price purchase in the Calcutta last night. Philip Kelly, well bought by Collier's Agribusiness, the naming sponsor of the maiden competition here this week. Charles sold for $2,150, 2150 Not to put any pressure on you, Charles, of course, being the high-priced item in the Calcutta. The young man's got ice water running through his veins. He rides as cool as a cool desert night. He joins us at number seven in the draw with his first of two entries, and he's riding a two up. Ali Graham, you'll ride Mr. Mello next in number eight. Harry Scott will ride Roxy in nine. Byron Davison on his third will ride Berrigan Puzzle in number 10. William Chug on his second and number 11. And Sam Harbison, you'll ride Wallinga Park Zorro. In number 12. All right, now we are way up there on the southern end of the cutout, uh, the northern end of the cutout yard, I should say, with a strong southerly breeze for Charles Tapp. Up to the left, up to the right, and up to the front he goes. Got plenty of work to do out there on the long side of the first as Charles Tapp riding two up. Sits and waits patiently as he sets up to close off his first. Oh, couldn't quite put it all together. Not a whole lot of joy there, unfortunately, for Charles. And two up outside on that occasion. We'll have a cutout score there for you, Charles. 20 for cutout. 2-0, 20 for cutout. A young lady from the Taroom district we watch. A beautiful 
local young lady and Ali Graham riding Mr. Mello. Ali joins us at number eight in the draw and of course was bought by mum last night for $800 in the Calcutta. A big thank you to Kylie Graham who would absolutely be as proud as punch to watch Ali here in the final of the Maiden for Maiden, the Collier's Agribusiness Final. Ladies and gentlemen, for all your agribusiness needs and consulting, get a hold of Collier's Agribusiness. Okay, of course, one of our other great joint sponsors here and the naming right sponsor to the Maiden for Maiden final is Shepherd Electrical. Of course, this Maiden for Maiden is run in conjunction with the Maiden draft. Of course, Maiden riders and Maiden horses are eligible. A big thank you to Shepherd Electrical for your wonderful support here this year in our Maiden for Maiden competition has been widely received Throughout the course of the program, cutout score there for Ali Graham of 21 and a cutout score only, unfortunately, for Mr. Mello and Ali, 21-21. As we move on down now to Harry Scott, number nine, riding Roxy. Of course, the winner of our Maiden for Maiden will take home a wonderful handcrafted belt buckle, trophy buckle from Ride Tough Buckles and also $1,250 cash. Also, a big thank you to the Toowoomba Wholesale Horse Warehouse for a wonderful embroidered horse rug as a prize here as well. As we're watching the young man, Harry Scott, that was bought for $1,800 last night by ECM Livestock. $1,800 for Harry. We're watching Harry riding Roxy at number nine in the draw. There you go. Well done, Harry Scott and Roxy. Even though you discarded some of your clothing going around the first, you've slid one through, a scored a hand, 20 and a half for cutout, 59 and a half for horsework and four for the course. There's an 84 point run, 84 point run for Harry Scott and Roxy takes them to the lead, 84 points. Let's go down now to number 10 in the draw, Byron Davison riding at Berragoon Puzzle. Oh, I'm sure the family are watching at home on the live stream too, Byron. A big warm welcome to the, Byron and Dave, the, the, the Davidson family. We're watching their little boy Byron here today in the Maiden for Maiden final on his third entry thus far, I believe, riding Berragoon Puzzle at number 10. Here's a young man with the ability to go around the 84 from Harry Scott that's leading the competition thus far. Okay, a score to hand for Byron Davison and Berragoon Puzzle. 20 for cutout, 58.5 for horsework and three for the course. A final round total of 81.5, 81.5 for a 20, 58.5 and three for an 81.5. As we move on down now to William Chug. Riding uh, Dali Missy Time. William was bought last night by ECM Livestock for $1,700.
in the Calcutta. They join us at number 11 in the draw, Darley, Missy, Time and William Chug. Sam Harbison, you're going to ride William pa Wellinga Park, Zorro in 12. Jai Johnson, you'll ride Lily in 13. Number 14 will be Image and Dello riding Short Lean Cat. And number 15 will be Byron Davison again riding Berrigoon Hussey. Doing a lovely job on number two is William Chug riding Dali Missy Time, number 11 of 24 in our Maiden for Maiden final draw. Waiting patiently for his shot at the gate, shapes it up very nicely, sets it up, looks up, rides up, slides up and through the middle they go. We'll wait to hear from our judges. 1700 was William Chug's price in the Calcutta and here's a little reason why, ladies and gentlemen. 21 points in the cutout, 61.5 for horsework and four for the course for an 86.5 and 86 and a half. And a new leader in the competition, 86 and a half for William Chug and Darley Missy Time. Let's go down to number 12. All eyes are on the cutout yard. Sam Harbison riding Wollinga Park Zorro in number 12. He's got the Wollinga pastoral uniform on. As always, they're all beautifully presented, these young people here at Joanda Plains. Sam Harbison slides out and rides one through the gate, but at the wrong end of the run. Our judges say, thank you very much, young man. We're going to cut out score there only, Sam. 21.5, 21 and a half for Sam Harbison and Wollinga Park Zorro. Jai Johnson is where we go now, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of the final program here in the Maiden for Maiden. Number 13 out of 24, Jai Johnson riding Lily. Kane Duff bought Jane Johnson last night for $1,050. $1,050 here in our clean slate final. We will be having a presentation for this Maiden for Maiden at the completion of the next 12 horses. Then we will dress the arena and then we will get underway with our open final. That'll be the next event. Take this opportunity to once again thank Shepherd Electrical for their wonderful support here in the Maiden for Maiden. Of course, run in conjunction with our maiden competition. We just witnessed a wonderfully high quality maiden final. Amazing line of strong, punchy, deep, fleshy Hereford steers here for the finals day. As we move to number 13 in the draw, Jai Johnson, you're ready, sir, by the looks of it, and you're on Lilliet. Number 13 in the draw, Imogen Dello at 14, Byron Davidson 15, Kyle Sanguinetti 16, number 17 will be Summer Barnett, 18 will be Alexandra Hindle and number 19 will be Byron Davidson once again. Of course Byron's already had two runs here in the Maiden for Maiden final. Got two more to come, but, final, uh, but at this stage we're watching Jai Johnson riding Lily. They'll walk back into their cattle. Slide their steer up as the gate men open up and let him out. Of course, Jai Johnson sold for $1,050 last night to Kane Duff. Thank you very much, Kane. Round number one for Jai Johnson we go. He slides up alongside of a young bullock there as nice as you'd like. There you have it, Jai. Thank you very much. We'll have a score to hand for you in just a moment. 15 and a half for cutout, 55 for horsework and three for the course. 
for a short round total of 73.5. That was a 15 and a half, a 55 and three for 73.5. Let's go now down to Imogen Dello. Of course, Dad bought Imogen last night, Warren Dello. Short lean cat, $1,700 in the Calcutta. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Short lean cat's got a whole lot of moves in the yard with Image and Dello atop. Got a little bit long out there to the left and blew a lovely red steer back down the fence. However, she peels him off once again and says for outside as they make their way through the face of the camp, Image and Dello got an awful lot of pace on now and looks up to make her way to the first. And she calls it quits out there, ladies and gentlemen. A cutout score for Image and a cutout score of 16. As we move down now to Byron Davidson's third entrant thus far, being Berragoon Hussey. Of course, Byron was bought last night by Ben Knight for $1,500. 1500 in the Calcutta. Young man's ended up with more starts than Farlap here in the final of the Maiden for Maiden. He's as hot as a bank robber's pistol is Byron Davison and still has two runs left, including this one. Byron Davison riding Barragoon Hussey in the Shepherd Electrical Maiden for Maiden final here during Wollinga at Joanda Plains for 2023. He's up to the right, he's up to the left, he's up to the front. Gave his bullock a little bit of a peek outside and then slid up alongside of him and off they went. Little bullock carried him there on the long side of the first one, ladies and gentlemen. So Byron slid up there to have a second larrap at it, but unfortunately got carried out past the line of the gate. Now Judge says, thank you very much, Byron. You're going to leave with a cutout score only and 20.5, 20 and a half for Byron Davison and Berragoon Hussey. Kyle Sanguinetti, you're up. Kyle's riding Sprinkle. Was bought last night by Grove Vale Rural for a very sound investment of $650, $650 only. Leading the final competition here thus far, William Chug with Dali Missy time for an 80, 86 and a half points. 86 and a half as William Chug and Dali Missy time here in the final thus far. They were bought by ECM Livestock for $1,700. So at this stage, ECM Livestock, you're in line to make a profit of about eight grand with roughly nine and a half or more in the kick for the winner of the Calcutta. As we're currently watching on camp, Kyle Sanguinetti riding Sprinkle in 16. Summer Barnett, you'll ride Hard One to Please in number 17. Alexandra Hindle will ride Kitty Longstockings in number 18. Byron Davison will ride Berragoon Ida in 19. Philippe Manchin will ride Del Rio Chisholm in 20. Charles Tapper Notorious, please be ready. Kyle Sanguinetti and Sprinkle. They were bought by Grove Vale Rural last night. A big thank you to all the crew from Grove Vale Rural for buying this combination. We're watching at number 16 in the draw. Kyle waiting for his shot, and there we come outside now on another one of these lovely Joanna Plains. 
Young Hera for Bullocks. Outside and around the long side of the first. We'll end up with a cutout score there and a cutout score of 14.5, 14 and a half for Kyle and Sprinkle. Number 17, Summer Barnett, you're up, riding hard one to please. Summer Barnett was bought by Courtney last night. Courtney Turvey, $700, $700. That's a very sound investment, $700 investment for a possible return of well over 9,000. It's a fairly good 18 hours work. Summer Barnett, number 17 of 24 in our draw. Of course, we will be having our presentation for our Shepherd Electrical Maiden for Maiden at the completion of the final round. We'll then drag the arena for the final of the Open. Summer Barnett waiting patiently to split a couple of bullocks that are paired up up the front. Ended up doing it a little bit of tough, a little bit tough, unfortunately, there for the beautiful young lady in Summer Barnett. Summer and hard one to please will leave the cutout score on that occasion. The cutout yard, I should say, with a no score. Alexandra Hindle will go to next, riding Kitty Longstockings. Toby Hoffman bought Alexandra Hindle last night for $900 in the Calcutta. And they're going to join us at number 18 in the draw. All right, we get our yard reset. Alexandra Hindle is who we're about to watch. Alexandra will be followed by Byron Davison in 19, Philippe Manchin in number 20. Number 21 will be Charles Tapp riding Notorious. Number 22 will be Ayrton Smith riding Wild Cow Guitar Man. 23 will be Harry Scott riding Rocket. Number 24 out will be Imogen Dello riding Summer love. Currently watching Alexandra Hindle riding Kitty Longstockings, making their way out onto the course now. Oh, going to end up with a whole lot of work to do out there once she got. A little bit long on the first for Alexandra Hindle. We've got a cutout score to hand for Alexandra and Kitty Longstockings of 20, 24 cutout. As we move to number 19 in the draw, Byron Davison riding Berragoon Ida. Here's Byron's fourth entrant here in our Maiden for Maiden final. Riding Ida, Berragoon Ida, number 19 in the draw. Of course, a big thank you to Ben Knight once again that paid $1,500 last night for the young man we're watching. Byron Davison separates a lovely young bullock out of the herd, out of the mob, and slides up on the long side of the first. Got plenty of work left to do. Makes their way around the first and close it off and check and change and shaping up for number two. Oh, boy, oh, boy, got a lot of work to do out there. Going to have to ride hard, but make no mistake, the Davison family are no strangers to speed and riding fast. 
Byron Davison, we watch. Lovely job as he checks and changes as smooth as you like and punches up along the blade of a lovely red, red bullock. Pulls a little bit of timber on the top side of the gate. We'll have a look to the scoreboard for our judges to see how they read it. And we'll have a score on the board for you in just a second, Byron Davison. As you'll be followed by number 20, Philippe Manchin. They scored a hand for Byron and Barragoon Ida. 15 for cutout, 54.5 for horsework. And a four for the course, that's a 15, 54.5. And four for the course for a 73.5, 73.5 for Byron Davidson and Berragoon Ida. Philippe Manchon is riding Del Rio Chisholm in number 20. They'll be followed by Charles Tapper, Notorious in 21. Ayrton Smith will ride Wild Cow Guitar Man in 22. Harry Scott will be second last out in the Maiden for Maiden final here on Rocket in 23. Image and Dello, we look forward to seeing you on Summer Love in draw number 24 in our Maiden for Maiden final. Currently in the cutout yard, Philippe Manchin riding Del Rio Chisholm. A big thank you to Jack Cable for purchasing the combination we have in the yard last night. Paid $750. Got himself a chance to turn $750 into well over $9,000. Uh, oh. The fall of the dreaded lash outside, unfortunately, for Philippe Manchon and Del Rio Chisholm. They're going to leave the cutout yard with a no score. Of course, a big thank you to all the successful purchasers in our Calcutta last night. And also a very big thank you to all our underbidders. Without the underbidders, it's hard to pile a gross up in a Calcutta. A big thank you to all the participants that were bidding very spiritedly last night in our Calcutta. As we move on to Charles Tapp, talking about the Calcutta, he is a young man that made the most, 2,150. Was proudly bought by Collier's Agribusiness. 21 in the draw here in the final. We're going to watch Charles Tapp riding Notorious. Okay, Charles Tapp, lovely bit of stockmanship right there. He waited and waited and waited and waited and then his young bullock just presented himself. He slipped down inside of him. He's gone to the left, he's gone to the right, he's gone to the front, he's up top now. Charles Tapp riding Notorious. Some really smart work inside, he slides up along. Another lovely Hereford steer here in the Maiden for Maiden final. Charles Tapp, 2150 in the Calcutta. Is this gonna be the one that goes around our leader thus far in William Chuggard, 86 and a half. Waiting, 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 slides on up, looks and finds the gates and uh, through the sticks they go. There's Charles Tapp, ladies and gentlemen. They were 21 in the draw, riding Notorious. We'll have a score to hand for you in just a moment, Charles. Of course, he knows a little bit of real estate. He's on as good as anybody, a, an integral part of the crew here at Joanda Plains. Well, currently leading the competition, ladies and gentlemen, with 86 and a half was William Chug as a score comes to hand for Charles Tapp. 21 for cutout. 
62 for horse, work and four for the course. And how's about a new leader with an 87? 87 points for Charles Tapp and Notorious. Boy, oh boy. 87 points here in the big final, the maiden for maiden. Ayrton Smith, we're watching, riding a really nice horse, Wild Cow Guitar Man. Of course, he sold to Loretta last night, for sold to Mum for $800. And all the pressure's on here in the big final for Wild Cow Guitar Man and Ayrton Smith. Guitar Man was looking for outside, a little too strong there in their first cutout, but they've made their way out now onto the course. Sliding up alongside his beast. Now as he works hard to close off number two, Ayrton Smith is who we're watching riding Guitar Man. Yep. Okay. Thank you. So I'll just hand. Uh, he scored a hand for Ayrton Smith, 13 for cutout, 56 for horsework and 3 for the course for a short round total of 72. They were 13, 56 and 3 for a final total of 72. Uh, Harry Scott, our second last competitor out here in the Shepherd Electrical Maiden for Maiden final at Joanda Plains for 2023. Harry Scott, we watch another integral part of the Wallinga Pastoral Company crew riding rocket at 23 in the draw. William, uh, sorry, William, sorry, Charles. Charles Tapp leading the competition with an 87 on Notorious. I shouldn't apologise to William for calling Charles William. I should apologise to Charles for calling Charles William. Hey, around we go. Harry Scott looking to put one through the goalposts. At the completion of this, we will have the presentations. We'll have a score to hand for you in just a moment, Harry. Of course, Harry Scott on Rocket. They were bought last night by ECM Pastoral for $1,800. Thank you very much, ECM Pastoral. And they scored a hand at 21 and a half for cutout, 57 and a half for horsework, and three for a course for a short round total of 82 points. That was 21 and a half, 57 and a half, plus three for 82 short round points as our final competitor out in the maiden for maiden the shepherd electrical maiden for maiden final here at joanda plains for 2023 is a beautiful image and dello writing a summer love number 24 of 24. so all you winners and place getters you will be joined by heidi smith down in the main arena immediately at the completion of this and we won't be too far off getting underway with the final of our Open. At the end of the presentation, of course, we will drag the arena prior to the Open final. As we're currently watching a real smart combination of the cutout yard in Image and Dello riding Summer Love, the very last one. 87 points leads the way, ladies and gentlemen, I think. At this stage with Charles Tapp and Notorious. Not a whole lot of joy there, unfortunately, on the long side of the first for Image and Dello with a 20.5, a 20 and a half for cutout. So, ladies and gentlemen, the resident livestock handler here on the grounds, unofficially at this stage, Charles Tapp. I don't know if there could be a more fitting champion for the uh, Maiden for Maiden this year. You can bet Charles has done hundreds of man hours being a part of this amazing event, putting all these cattle together. Charles Tapp with 87, 87 points and fish, uh, unofficially the winner. Of course, there is no cutout trophy for our final as such. But all you winners and place getters there in the Maiden for Maiden final, you will be getting joined by Heidi Smith down in the arena, arena immediately. Thank you very much, Heidi. I'll hand over to you now to take 
the presentation over. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for having me here at Joanda Plains this year. I've thoroughly enjoyed being a part of the program and hopefully I get an opportunity to come back and join you all again. Thank you very much. We'll see you later on through the rest of the program. Thanks very much, Heidi. Big thank you to our co-announcer in Sean O'Hanlon there. Thank you, Sean, for your contribution. Hey, as we saw there, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Charles Tapp, notorious. You are the winner of the Maiden for Maiden here at Wollinga at Joanda Plains. In second place was Will Chug on Dali Miss Time. Third, Harry Scott's Roxy with an 84. Fourth place, we see Will Chug back on Bailey's Hooligan with an 82.5. In fifth, Harry Scott is back on Rocket with an 82. And sixth place, Byron Davidson and Berragoon Puzzle. We will require those six competitors. We will do this presentation straight away. Maiden for Maiden, winners and place getters, we will need Charles Tapp, Notorious, 87 points, Will Chug, Dali, Missy, Missy Time, 86.5, Harry Scott on Roxy is third with an 84, fourth Will Chug, Bailey's Hooligan with an 82.5, Harry Scott's fifth again on Rocket with an 82 and Byron Davidson brings in sixth position on Berragoon Puzzle. We will present these trophies right away. Thank you again to our judges, Mr Zane Haberman and Mr Tim Hollis. And our wonderful sponsor of the Maiden for Maiden was Shepherd Electrical. So we welcome the Shepherd Electrical team to the arena for this presentation. Before we proceed with the continuation of finals Saturday, we're going to prep this arena. We're going to get everyone ready and we're going to roll out with the open final, the McKechnie Earth Moving Open Final. Our opening will be around that two o'clock mark. We'll get our grand parade happening and then straight into those 37 finalists. Big afternoon of camp drafting coming your way. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, last night we ran that great Calcutta on the Maiden for Maiden final. In this case, 
Collier's Agribusiness, our great uh, sponsor of the Maiden, actually bought our winning competitor in Charles Tap. They'll take home a hefty check of $9,025. Second position was ECM Livestock, Pat Cleary. He, gets, he bought Will Chug and he takes home a check of $5,415. Hey, they were smart enough to buy third position, Harry Scott as well. So another $3,610 goes ECM Livestock. Pat Cleary, you've got a good check out of this. They got in and backed the boys. The boys in red indeed. They are Willinga pa Pastoral Co's, very own Charles Tapp and Will, Ta Will Chug and Harry Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome, please join me in welcoming our winner of the Shepherd Electrical Maiden for Maiden Camp Draft, Charles Tapp, riding Notorious, his very own entry, with a wonderful score there in the final of 87. 87 points. The winner is Charles Tapp and Notorious. In second place, Will Chug rode Dali Missy Time on behalf of Donna Finger for an 86.5. Third place, Harry Scott and Roxy get an 84. Will Chug was fourth on Bailey's Hooligan with 82.5. Harry Scott places fifth on Rocket with an 82. And Byron Davidson was sixth with, a, with Barragoon Puzzle and an 81.5. That entry owned by Matty Davidson. So we're very fortunate to have Michael from Shepherds Electrical, the great sponsor of our Maiden for Maiden draft here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a testament to the quality of the wonderful team here, the Willinga Pastoral Co team, to make up five out of six of these positions. I'm sure Terry Snow and Andrew Turvey and the, the entire team are very proud of the boys. Taking out first to fifth is Charles Tapp, Will, Scott, uh, Will Chug and Harry Scott with Byron Davidson slipping into sixth position. Thanks to Michael from Shepherd Electrical taking over that beautiful ride tough buckle for our winner, Charles Tapp. Also thank you to Tim Hollis and Zane Haberman. As I said, they have overseen proceedings here. It's been a big week of drafting, done a mighty job. Our winner receives a beautiful garland, a ride tough buckle and a rug, embroidered rug for the winner of the Shepherd Electrical, Maiden for Maiden, Mr. Charles Tapp and Notorious. Also congratulate the uh, winner of that Calcutta last night, Collier's Agribusiness, already one of our great supporters and jumped in there last night and bought our, our winning competitor, Charles Tapp and Notorious. Before Charles leads us off, I'd like to hand the mic over to our winner, Mr. Charles Tapp and Notorious, to say a few words. I'd just like to say thank you to all the competitors for coming out to our inaugural draft and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've done our best and we'll uh, do better next year. Cheers. Thanks, Charles. I don't know if you can do a lot better than what we've done this week, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Tapp is a key part of the cattle team here at Willingo Pastoral Co. So congratulations to Charles Tapp, William Chug, Harry Scott, all of the wonderful uh, members of the Willingo Pastoral Co. cattle team. And in sixth position was Byron Davidson. We'll get some photos and we will not be too far away from resurfacing our wonderful ground here and we will be underway with the main event, the final of the McKechnie Earth Moving Open Draft. So fill your glasses, find something to eat, have a chat to some old friends, make some new ones and we won't be too far away. But not before our, uh, 
Our winner of the Shepherd Electrical Maiden for Maiden, Charles Tapp, will lead our crew away with a few photos and uh, we'll be underway here shortly. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. That is Charles Tapp, the winner of the Maiden for Maiden. In second, Will Chug. Third, Harry Scott. Will Chug was fourth and Harry was fifth. And Byron Davidson takes out the sixth position. Congratulations to our Maiden for Maiden riders. Like ordered chaos, ladies and gentlemen. The boys will find their way home, though, I can promise you, and I reckon they'll find their way to that outstation waterhole a little bit later on as well. McKechnie Earth moving, open finalists. We will prepare the arena. We will require you down here marshalling on the side of the arena at about 10 minutes to, ten, to 2. So as long as the rollers are off the ground, we'll be ready to go. So please uh, make sure that you are saddled up. Your shirts have been uh, picked up from the secretary's office. We'll see our open finalists back down here around that 10 to 2 mark. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with you.